All right, we are going to start doing Unix commands. Um, this matches chapter one in our book. The first command we're going to learn about is the date command. If I type in the word date, or I should say command, and hit enter, it will show me the system date and time for my time zone. I can change its behavior by doing date dash u. I just want to stress date is the command dash u is what we call a switch and that changes the output sometimes a switch can be referred to as an option I'm going to hit enter and you can see that its time is different because this is Eastern Daylight Time and this is UTC Universal Time which is Green Greenwich Mean Time in England I'm also going to introduce you to the clear command which clears the screen I know this is not a Windows class, but I want to bring to your attention um, how Windows is based on Unix. So I'm going to bring up the uh, Windows command prompt, which if you look, looks very similar to the Unix command prompt. And I'm going to type date. The exact same command in Unix works in Windows. And remember the video we watched where uh, Bill Gates said he did not think sharing software is a good idea? But I want to bring to your attention that Unix was the um, model and the basis for Windows when Bill Gates started um, Microsoft. So I'm going to kind of put this off to the side for now. We're going to come back to it later. So we have learned the date command and the clear. I want to introduce you to the cal command. And I'm going to hit enter. And you can see it gives you the calendar for today. And today is highlighted. I can change its behavior with an option, also known as a switch, by putting a dash, dash being the minus sign 3. And you can see it gives me three months calendar. The previous month, the current month, and the future month. And I can also ask for the calendar for the year. So here you can see cal dash y, and it gives me the calendar for all of 2018. I can also, I'm going to clear the screen, I can do cal-y 1996. And I get the calendar for the year 1996. This is a command. This is a switch or an option with the minus. And this is what we call a argument or parameter. Notice there's at least one space between the command and the option and another space between the option and the argument or parameter. I'm going to hit enter and then you can see I got the calendar for 1996 full year. Another command I want to introduce you to after I type in the clear is the who command and I'm going to do who dash q as well and you can see it gives me different information. The who tells me who's logged in and who dash q gives me a quick list no detail, but an account. We use this in the industry to find out how many people on a server before we applied a patch or did a backup. I also want to show you who am I. It tells you who I'm logged in as. And now's a good time to talk about this piece right here, which is called a prompt. It shows me who I'm logged in as, the name of my machine, which is localhost, um, if we have time in another tutorial, I will show you how to change the name. Tilde, which you'll learn more about in Chapter 2, um, indicates that you're in your home area or your home directory. And the dollar sign means you have no special permissions. I'm going to go over back to Windows, and I'm going to type, I'm going to do a Control c to interrupt this. And I'm going to type, who am I? And I'm clearly in Windows, and you can see that Unix command works very similar to um, how it was sourced in Unix. And I would also like to introduce you to the MAN pages. MAN stands for manual. If you don't know all the switches that go with a particular command or you want to learn more about it, you can type MAN. So I'm going to type MAN CAL and hit enter. Notice there's always a space. Command parameter notice no switch because it would have a dash in front of it then this shows me all the 
specifics of how to use the calendar command and this is written by the software developer who wrote the actual date command and here you can see a demonstration of switches this is the native switch or option used for Fedora and over here you'll see a dash dash one where the option is spelled out dash dash three the dash dashes means is POSIX which is a governing body that makes sure the switches are uniform on all different versions of Unix so just to recap this is used in Fedora dash dash is POSIX which means is a governing body that makes sure the switches work for all different versions of Unix. To get out of the man pages, type Q. To move forward, hit the space bar. I'm going to hit Q. And I'm going to show you how the date or the cal works doing dash dash three.